Okay, um, I've decided I'm going to have a look at five first-person shooters um, that were made in the latest Ludum Dare, Ludum Dare 27. The uh, theme of this Ludum Dare was 10 seconds. Um, I actually don't think, of all the themes I've seen at Ludum Dare, I feel like 10 seconds is one of the least interesting, because most of the games that were made in it were just standard game concepts with an arbitrary timer added to them, which I don't think really was that interesting, but there have been some good games that have come out of it. I haven't really played through these five, so I don't know if they are also good games, but uh, take a sip of coffee. Let's try them out. Okay. seems all pretty self-explanatory. Actually, when I say I haven't tried these games, this one I have actually played a tiny amount of because I screwed up recording this game the first time, and I discovered that the best way of playing it was to find a corner, back yourself up to it, and then uh, start shooting. Or maybe that's not a terribly good strategy. Um, I don't know how many levels are uh, in this game, actually. Maybe next time I die, maybe I'll check the Ludum Dare page and see what they say. I see some of the enemies have... Mm. Hmm. Some of the enemies have clocks on them, so presumably those are the ones that give you extra time. I do think it's maybe slightly too easy to die. Um... I don't think there's a huge amount more to say about this game. It, um... It's definitely mostly well done, although I do find the movement a little bit finicky. Um, yeah, I definitely like the look. Uh, on to the next game. Okay, this is a game called Defense of the Zorian by Rob Productions. Um, well, let's see what it's about. Okay, I see. I don't know if I have enough money to buy the sword. Nope. Whoa. Okay, defense upgrades. Well, we can always use upgrades, so... I'm actually... I assume I'm spending points. It's not terribly self-explanatory. I need more coffee if this is towered events. I don't mind tower defense that much, actually. And also, I think it is. Tower defense. That is. Okay. Red line. Right, got it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Nope. Oh, another. No. Okay. And now I have points and I can go buy things. Okay, this is actually quite interesting. 20 seconds to run over here gets. I don't know. 
wasn't there like a mini guard that thing? Uh, that's 50. I think I took a bit too long there. Oh, fuck. If in doubt, just start firing randomly. Still don't have enough to buy anything. <laughs> oh, and I have limited ammo. I did not realise that. I think I may be fucked. Fuck. Oh no, I can reload. I do have unlimited ammo. Okay. 15 points. I must be able to get something with 15. Standard turret 20. Fuck. Okay, next time. Okay, leg it. 28. That should be enough. Run back with my standard turret. I guess I should actually be focusing on the other direction, if the turret's got that one. Nope, grab. And we'll put this on the other side then. this. I'll just get another turret for now. Run, 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 run. Nope. Oh, so this is actually a turret that I missed and I could have been using all this time. I was wondering what that random block on the floor was. I don't know why I bought that. In fact, I'll go back in. Ah, fuck. This, um... Corridor could maybe be slightly shorter. Okay, fast turret. But then again, it is, you know, tense to have to be running off and then running back. It's interesting. I know that fusion, sort of fusion tower defense games are sort of becoming a bit of a thing now. But I haven't played many of them and I definitely find this one interesting. I don't know quite how unique it is because I'm not super familiar with the genre. But, uh, let's buy Robot Kid. But, um, definitely it's really enjoyable and it's really... I don't actually know if there's a lost... Oh, I assume that health actually is a lost state. But it definitely seems like I've been playing pretty badly and not... And still not doing too awfully. Oh, except my ammo about to die. Okay, might as well keep going until I die. Can I afford the blast thing? Can't remember how much that costs. No. 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 Yes.
and so dead. Okay. That was really fun. I really liked that game. Definitely at the start, I wasn't sure, but uh, that's really cool. Well done. Okay, this is 10 Seconds of Hell by Spotline. It is a procedurally generated first person shooter. And let's give it a shot. The 10 secondness of this game is supposed to be that every 10 seconds a new wave of enemies will spawn. I have to say, I like the look a lot. Whoa. I don't seem to be firing anymore. I don't know whether I need to pick up ammo or... Did I jump over that? Oh, yes. This is really cool looking. Whoa! Oh, I'm not dead. I thought I was. That's pretty trippy. Oh hey, health. Awesome. That's a really neat effect for low health. You know, the amount of time that they had to implement it, or he had to implement it. Or she. I don't know. Still no ammo though. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so bottom left is my ammo. Zoom with the green bar is my health. I should probably keep track of both of those things slightly better. This time. Sounds pretty cool as well. What hit me? I don't know if there's a goal in this game beyond just survive for as long as you can, I'm pretty sure that's all there is. There's ammo back there, but I have quite a lot of it. A lot, a lot of these balls seem to just disappear on their own sometimes, although not those ones. Whoa. Okay, help. Ammo. Feeling pretty good. Hopefully I'll get past the next few waves. Get a bit further. Oh, crap. Is there health anywhere? Oh, I can't move forward anymore. Oh no, that makes things difficult. Oh fuck. And I'm out of ammo. Well, I survived a little longer. That's a really interesting game. I really love the look of it, especially. But yeah, it's really cool. Right, this is a game called Time Shifter, um, by Split82, as you can see. Um, 
Let's have a look. Okay. I assume we go into number one. Oh, that's interesting. So I can hold E to make these doors come out. That's really cool. Wait, I'm not actually on the platform. Okay. First time of it. So, oh, I see. So I can right, get this up to the top, freeze it, and get this to lower itself, get on it, and then presumably freeze this to lower state, and then get on that. Whoa. Get caught on the level geometry, unfreeze it, go up. Puzzle solved. Right. So, I guess I want to be on that one. Oh, am I going to get... Yeah. That's what I thought might happen. I guess I could have just not done that if I thought that was what was going to happen. Okay, then. Up. Freeze. Oh, wait. Down. Freeze. Up. Unfreeze. Up. Can I jump on that? Whoa. Don't think I can make that jump there. Who knows? Great. Puzzle solved. This is really cool. I could see this being made into a well, fully fledged puzzle game. Okay, I see. Freeze. Hey. Oh. Right. Freeze. 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 Get this down here so I can get on it. Those will unfreeze. Okay. So, do, do I need to freeze them so that they're not? Um, in place, or do I need to, f or do I need to get up onto here and freeze them without going through the green thing? <sighs> yeah. 
music stopped. That must mean I'm doing something right. Okay. So what? I freeze them all like the. Hmm. Or do I not? Do I just leave them and then? Nope. Hmm. I'm missing something incredibly obvious. Okay, move time forward. That goes up there. Easy peasy, that's what we want. Let's try this. I think I might give up on this one, but that's a, this is a really cool game. It's a really cool idea. Maybe if I was a little less, uh, you know, I would actually finish it. Maybe I'll finish it later.